Breaking original, new reporting, first at six. So in just a few hours, thousands of students will be heading back to school across the East County and they will be walking into brand new buildings. The Grossmont Union High School District spending hundreds of millions of dollars to upgrade old campuses. And Jared Aaron's in the 10 News Live Center for this one. And Jared, uh, this has become a tradition for the district. New buildings greeting these students for more than a decade. Yeah, you go back to school at the beginning of the year. You got your new pencils, your new notebooks. And if you're in Grossmont, new classrooms. The district has spent the last decade updating schools, many of which date back to the 1950s. Uh, we got a behind the scenes look at some of the upgrades that took place in just the last few months. Welcome to the new Student Support Center at Mount McGill High School. Principal Jake Gear oozes pride <laughs> as he shows people around the new buildings at Mount McGill High School. It's like wearing a new suit. Uh, you put on that new suit and you feel that pride. And I think this is kind of the same thing. The district spent $3.7 million this summer at Mount Miguel, also building a new event center and turning the old administration building into a STEM hub for students. It's been a dream come true. In Santee, Santana High Principal Tim Schwoko watches as crews put the highest level of bricks on a new PE building. The last facility that we had didn't compare to what is going in now. They're also getting ready to open a new science building, complete with observation decks. In the last four months, his school has gotten $2.4 million worth of work. The new buildings reinforce a requirement to get involved outside of class. Every freshman has to join a club sport or activity, so right now, putting in this facility is really going to get them excited to do that. Meanwhile, crews are laying the foundation on a new PE and food services building at Granite Hills High, part of $1.5 million worth of new construction since May. I mean, this is a game changer for a lot of reasons. The building boom comes from voter approved bonds. Since 2004, Proposition H, Proposition U and Measure BB have given Grossmont $819 million for construction. With every new building, they're laying a foundation for the district's future. I mean, we're bringing everything up, and so these students will walk in the door and, and have access to things that we just haven't had on campus before. Here's a number that should impress you guys. According to the district, they've already spent $701 million, $701 million of the bond money. They're almost done with all of these upgrades. Meanwhile, the San Diego County Taxpayers Association gives them a 24 out of 25 score on their transparency report, meaning that they believe they're spending the money well. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Good to hear everybody wins in that situation, yeah. Jared.